Hey guys, welcome back. This time we're looking at the Antec Vortex 360 ARGB all-in-one liquid cooler. So on. This is the Vortex 360 from Antec. Big shout out to Antec for sending this over for review. So let's get this unboxed. Let's have a look. Right then, so this is the Vortex 360. So as you can see, when it comes to the pump, just put the water pressure, ARGB lighting, ARGB lighting pump head. And that's what it looks like. That's what it's compatible with in terms of RGB. Now let's open this up. So, okay. So, this is the manual. This is going to tell you everywhere what sockets and how to install it. Especially, even give you a radiator installation, which is actually quite nice. Not every AIO comes with that an AIO installation for the radiator that's actually quite good for Antec so tells you what of course it's got Intel AMD of course and then oh it's got 2011 so it does support quite a few AM3 to AM5 or oh, and TR4 wow okay and the fans are pre-installed which I actually do like the uh, thermal right does a sim similar thing and what I will say is it saves a lot of headaches and okay so this is a ARGB hub it's a SATA connector you just connect the four ARGBs up to it and then obviously you can sync it up to your motherboard for that member that's what you need that's a three pin connector and then you need it for the header on the motherboard itself so it does come with a fan splitter comes with all the necessary brackets all the back the back plates as well and some thermal paste so what we'll do now is have a look at the AIO oh no mind they don't come pre-installed but actually look at that wow never actually seen someone actually braid the fan cables oh okay that's actually nice so that has got an illumination panel around the fan which looks very very nice got rubber on the sides to stop vibrations the fan it's a little tiny bit of wiggle but it is a four pin pwm and it is three pin with an <laughs> braided cable first time seeing that so we'll just move these out the way and we have a look at the aio itself so of course it's a standard AIO, standard radiator like any other brand but obviously a, uh, Antec are going to put their own spin on it and that would be that, this. I believe it's a rotating one from what, oh actually I don't know, I'll have to see what the review says but this lights up. There's a cold plate. This wouldn't exactly work for Threadripper. It's not big enough. But obviously it's nice to have that compatibility. I like the overall design. It's a generic radiator. So there's nothing special. No branding embossed on it. And nothing. And of course the pump is a 3 pin. Which I would have preferred 4 pin. But that's just me. And then of course there's a daisy chain for the LGB. So let's get this installed and do the thermal testing. Okay then, so this is the Vortex 360 from Antec. This is the fans at 50% fan speed. This is 100%.
Yeah, they're a little bit loud, but to be fair, at 50% in the assignment. Right then, so when it comes to the Vortex 360 from Antec, I've done two different tests with a 5900X with PBO enabled. I've done it at 50% fan speed and 100% fan speed. So for 50% fan speed at Cinebench R24 this time I've included, the idles are 30 with a max of 78. Cinebench R23, the idles were 30 Celsius with a max of 80. Blender Classroom, the idles were 30 Celsius with a max of 78. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idles were 30 Celsius with a max of 71. So that was for 50% fan speed. So when it comes to the 100% fan speed, now the idles did go down by one degree. And this is what the results are. The CPU was pushing 180 watts at this specific time. So for Cinebench R24, the idles are 29 Celsius with a max of 74 Celsius. Cinebench R23, the idles are 29 Celsius with a max of 77 Celsius. Blender Classroom, the idles are 29 Celsius with a max of 75 Celsius. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idles are 29 with a max of 68 Celsius. Okay, so this is the actual sound I'm getting from the pump. I I don't know if you can actually hear it, it's like a very whine. It's an odd sound and to be honest it's quite annoying. Right then guys, so you've heard the noise test for the fans, you've also heard the whiny pump and you've also seen the overall thermal results. Now, what I will say is for Antec, now they did send me a retail unit that you would buy from a shop. So that could be the reason why I've received one with a with a whiny pump. Now I'm not the best person for someone to receive a sample of a brand and for it to have a problem. But I can also say that the whiny pump did not affect the performance of the AIO. It was just annoying when it came to the sound. That was pretty much it. It could happen to anyone buying one of these. Specifically, I have reached out to Antec to see if they got any comment about it. So far, I haven't heard back, but perhaps after the review, maybe they will. Right then, the things I do like is I like the RGB. Of course, if you like, if you are a fan of Welsh Tech, you should know I like my RGB by now. But I like the individual sleeve cables. I do like the overall mirror effect around the fan housing. I do like that RGB look. I do like the pump housing, the block. The overall design on the on the block it does look rather striking especially in pictures if i remember to put some pictures i will put some up here it does look very nice when it comes to subtle light then now yeah the fans are 2000 rpm yes they are loud but to be fair i've had much louder aios and i've had a lot quieter aios this is in the middle when it comes to the noise levels the performance it actually did well the 5900X has beaten a couple of AIOs, primarily 240s, and I will say the performance was around what I was expecting. Of course, it is cold out in the uh, UK at the moment, so we're in winter, so of course the ambient air outside is going to affect the ambient air out inside. So that does come into account. Now, if we, you obviously were in a hot climate, then of course, the ambient air would be higher so it all depends on what region or which country you're from so make sure you bear that in mind but other than that i i like the rgb i like the overall aesthetics of the rgb which i do think that a lot more brands are starting to come out with a lot more unique styles when it comes to rgb which to be honest i'm a big advocate for rgb i like rgb i like using rgb i like the colors and of course, that's just me. That's me personally. Don't have to like it. That's up to you. Completely up to you. If you don't like it, then that's fine. But overall, the performance was there, except for the whiny pump noise, which 
I will say to Antec that I am, it's unfortunate that I had to receive a sample with a whiny pump. Hopefully, whoever buys one doesn't get that same issue. But from what I've read online, it doesn't seem to be a major issue. So it could just be one of them things. Just could be a coincidence that it came to me and obviously it had to have a whiny pump. But... Other than that, it performs well, it looks fantastic, and that's pretty much it, guys. Look, you take from what I give you, I personally like the AIO. It does look rather nice in the system, especially built up. I like the RGB. Of course, the price is going to de uh, depend because it is around the £98 to £100 mark. Dollars, I, I, I'm sorry, you'll have to do the conversion yourself, but it's around 100 and odd dollars, 110 dollars, something like that. It is so. Whether that's really something you're looking for, then that's really up to you. I'll leave a link down below. You guys can go have a look at Antex website, they do a lot of different types of products, cases, everything. So, yeah, I'd like to say a big thank you to Antec. I've been waiting to get a product off them for the last two years, but. It's just one of them things, I do understand, but I hope to continue it. I'd love to look at more products of theirs in the future. And don't forget to subscribe because I've got loads of things coming from Colink. Still, I have still bugged Thermal Right because I I want the products. I need them in, the, in here. You guys keep asking. I want them. So, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This is Richard from Welshie Tech. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and a big happy new year from me. So, goodbye. Right then, guys. Well, Antec got back to me. They seem to think that the pump must have been damaged during transit. They did send it from, the U from Europe, so they came by plane and so forth. Could have been banged in the plane. It could have been banged in anywhere with delivery drivers as you guys know delivery drivers do not take care of it, your parcels so that's one thing i would say if you're buying in the uk then i'm assuming that it would be fine but they offered me a replacement they said about getting me the replacement if i needed it but to be fair the pump all it really did was make a noise it wasn't a reflection on the performance so I just thought I'd let you know. So, yeah.